state, yeah. the big landmass that the rest of the world hates. Fuck yeah. We're like above that. Fucking north, I guess. The big patch of trees where everybody's bored to death. We're just chilling up here, sipping syrup, playing hockey. Before we learn to walk, we can cross check properly. Just rocking plaid jackets, chainsaws, we operate them right. Hey guys, uh, welcome to a video about my uh, my lawn tractor. Uh, well, basically, it's a, uh, I don't know the year, but it's a rally made by Roper, like in the grand scheme of things. And uh, it's it's got a 18-horsepower um, Briggs & Stratton power built. It's a um, big block twin cylinder, cast iron sleeve. Uh, I'm not sure if it's overhead valve or not. I don't really know. Uh, I don't know. It might be or not. I like the way actually this uh, this tractor's intake set up. Sorry about the bad lighting though. Like I really like the way this intake set up because it's like at the front and it allows for a lot more like room for the dual pistons. And like it's not on the side because that way even with the hood on, I've seen guys like they're going through like water holes, and uh, like even with the hood on, there's like. They just spray the crap out of their intake, and then their their tractor just kind of dies, and so they have to wait and keep pulling it and do all that stuff and turn it upright and all around. And I mean that's good. That's a good thing to have when you're. Sorry, boys. We had a bit of a little technical glitch there, but we're back up and running. And um, well, as I was saying, it's good to have it like that so that you get like protection from the hood, and also this is a fairly good sealed unit like but I mean it's got like the, the foam onto it and all that good stuff so I'm pretty confident not much water is ever gonna get in there but anyways so right now I'm just got the heater going because it was outside in the frigid cold it's snow all over it on you can saunt it but anyways um well uh, basically what I'm gonna be doing in this project on this tractor You've seen it probably in previous videos, like my very first one, I think. Anyways, basically I'm going to get a new pair of tires. And um, I'm hopefully, for my birthday, I'm asking for a pair of uh, Interco Swamp Lights. Those are some mean tires. Or even, like, it depends either those or um, <clears throat> a pair of, uh, um, what are they called there? Super log tires, they're like paddle, like like legit tractor tires, like the paddled style with the sort of like the V paddle, the V paddle, so on and so forth, and they're pretty good. Uh, but only thing about those ones is the uh, the tread isn't very high, so like I don't know. I'm just wondering whether I should get swamp lights or um, super logs. I don't know, leave in the comment section below what you think. Um, so when I was down in the States on my uh, Lake George trip, went to Six Flags, I got these uh, pretty cool little magnets there um, at a store. I forget what it was called. It was like Dad's Workshop, Penn's Oil, and STP. Both of those I've actually used in my tractor a couple times. Just depends what's on sale. Um, Basically, what I need to do, kitten, say hello, Willow, Willow, Willow. Oh. Basically, what I got to do is I got to fix my axle, because you can saunt it there. It's like coming out of the hole, so I need to weld that up into the wet word. Got her fixed, because the this little coupling thing keeps it from going back and forth and out and stuff when you back up it like goes forward and I need to basically secure it and um, I've also got to excuse me widow I gotta fix my steering tie rod I broke that son of a gun twice now and um, yeah I'm hopefully gonna install some steering stops what are you doing under there widow and um got the hood off of it right now, it's just sitting in my shop right there. Got my tool chest. 
my workbench. God, she's all over the place. I got got a hide drying right there. Got my guns laid out there. Got my new axe. Got my screwdrivers. Extra hat in case I forget mine. Got my other hatchet. A little shelf I built in wood shop. Um, a sheath right there, and then empty Rockstar can because it looks cool. <laughs> I got some targets, another target, spin target. Uh, I got some lures that I got for Christmas. I don't really have anywhere to put them, but yeah, I got my keys right there. Got the little electrical plug around the heater and my light. It comes with this bar, but I can't get it to work. So, but headlamp for when I'm working underneath the whipper. Oh, that's my dad's floor jack for the car, but I used it to jack it up, put it on the stand. This is my dirt bike stand. I don't know what else to say. So, uh, skis. Well, in other words. So, uh, I guess we'll see you in the next video. Right now, I'm just drying it off. Next time, hopefully, I'm going to, uh, start cutting off those stupid little... Whatever those are for, you can't really see it, but there's like little brackets that hang down and they always get caught in the mud rocks or on rocks or anything, really. And uh, I'm going to be doing a cold start, I guess, because it's in my, like, three degrees garage. Um, yeah, I'm just going to fire it up, make sure it's not all clogged in the um, carburetor. Uh, I'm going to hopefully... Weld back into place that axle or whatever it's called. Good lord, kitty, you're all over the place. And, uh, yeah, well, thank you for watching this. See you in the next video. That wasn't a fart. That was a, vo that was a bowel movement. Oh, my God. And, um, yeah, so uh, hope hopefully you uh, come along for the ride, and uh, we'll get this thing up and running. I'll show you what I did. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Woo! Say goodbye. Woo! Say goodbye. Meow. 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 Woo! 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 Is that a good smelling hatchet? Hey. Eh? Oh, there we go. See you later, lads.